US military Humvee is an iconic symbol of the Iraq and Afghanistan war. And I've conducted multiple operations using these vehicles. So when I learned of this radio controlled scaled down Humvee from a company out of China, I just knew that I had to pick one up for my Desert Rat action figure and fill it with some of my action force troopers. And I acquired this Humvee over a year ago and it's appeared in a number of action force videos and since then, I've lost count of the amount of people who've asked me in the YouTube comments, where did you get that Humvee? So I thought it was about damn time I told you. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at this awesome radio controlled Humvee that I'm using for my Valiverse Action Force figures. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now the first thing that I wanna mention about this radio controlled vehicle is that it is not one to 12 scale. It's actually one to 10th scale. And you can see here with Desert Rat standing outside, it probably looks a little bit oversized. The thing is, when you start putting the figures into the driver's seat and the passenger seat and all those kind of things, they only just barely fit in. So if this had been made, I think in the one to 12 scale, I don't think your standard one to 12 scale action figures would fit. You can see here Condor's Barely got enough clearance between his head and the roof of the cab, but overall I think it scales pretty well. This is an extremely heavy vehicle, with the body being made from plastic, but the main chassis is all steel. It's incredibly durable, just like the real vehicles. The colloquial name of Humvee is actually derived from the acronym HMMWV, which stands for High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle. And these are a family of light four-wheel drive military trucks and utility vehicles produced by AM General. And after four years of service in Iraq, I can tell you that these were heavily used in that country during that conflict. While this is a radio controlled vehicle, it is jam packed with accurate details. It features real rubber tires, there are headlights which you can, I believe, buy some add-on electronics and actually get these things to light up. The, the stock standard version doesn't come with that. The trunk at the rear opens up and is held in place with a couple of hydraulic rams. And inside you'll see a 50 caliber machine gun and tripod, but this is simply decorative. It's actually glued in place and you can't remove it from the vehicle. And this large kind of ammo crate situated just to the side of it is actually the location that houses the battery that runs the radio controlled motor. If you undo the clips on the tailgate, the tailgate folds down. And then of course we have the turret. And this houses the vehicle's main weapon system, which is a Mark 19 40 mm belt fed grenade launcher. I've actually done a few paint touch ups here and painted the ammo can in green, just to give the vehicle a little pop of color. This gun pivots and elevates and the turret traverses. When you don't have an action force trooper manning the turret, there's a hinge fold down hatch that you can engage to completely seal the roof of the vehicle. If you undo these latches on either side of the hood, you can lift the hood up and access the engine bay. And there's some really nice detail in here and it presents some excellent photography options if you've got like a mechanic in your squad and he wants to tinker with the Humvee's motor. There's a pair of nicely designed wing mirrors. The windshield has wipers. These don't move, but it's just that little added touch of detail that makes this thing look super realistic. All four of the doors actually work and can be snapped shut with a kind of latch mechanism. And because my fingers are so fat, I actually need a pair of tweezers to get underneath the latch and get these open. But as you can see with the example sitting here today, the doors are actually removable quite easily, just a couple of screws on each hinge. I think it's four screws per door um, and you can remove the doors to have a kind of rapid deployment version. The troops inside can debus from the vehicle at a rapid pace. And a lot of the vehicles involved in the initial invasion of Iraq did not have doors fitted. But the main reason I like to display it like this as it enables me to showcase the action figures as opposed to having them all hidden away behind doors and you kind of peer at them through a small window. By having all the doors removed, you can easily see the figures and I think they display really, really well. You can also completely remove the roof from this vehicle. And now we have an open top version of the Humvee, which looks really cool. It gives you another display option. This vehicle also has some excellent suspension and a working tow hook. This radio controlled Humvee is available in both the desert tan color that I've got here, also in an olive drab green. I've obviously opted to go for the desert tan version because, you know, it goes with desert rat. Got to have the desert tan version of the Humvee, haven't you? And to deck out the crew of this vehicle, I've customized a number of Valiverse Action Force figures to give desert rat his own little desert patrol squad. 
We've got a desert themed duster, a desert themed condor and a desert themed trigger here. Now when I purchased this vehicle around 12 months ago, I bought it direct from China and it was shipped internationally. And due to various customs laws, the manufacturer could not ship the lithium battery that was required to run the motor. So I've had this sitting in the collection for 12 months, maybe a little bit more than 12 months, and I've never actually driven this thing via remote control. So I finally got off my butt and purchased the required battery and charger. And now that I have this vehicle decked out with my Valiverse Action Force Desert Patrol figures, I can't wait to take it out in the desert and burn some rubber. Now, if you're a collector of either Valiverse Action Force or even G.I. Joe Classifieds, this item makes for a display case darling. It's absolutely gorgeous. The one major setback is the price. This thing is ridiculously expensive. And I ummed and ahed for weeks and weeks and weeks before I could finally justify pulling the trigger. And I know I've sat here on record and said that, you know, 350 for the Hell Charger is way overpriced. Well, this thing is made from metal, it's radio controlled, it's a lot bigger, it houses four of my figures really, really well. I do think it's a bit overpriced, but it was an item that, you know, I wanted it that badly. I, I eventually convinced myself to uh, stump up the funds and pay for it. It also looks great in all the Action Force videos where I've used it, so... Uh, I've justified it in my own head somehow. If you're looking to buy one, I highly recommend searching for them on eBay. You can either buy them out of China or there are a number of eBay sellers who sell these things in the United States. Simply search for one to 10 scale radio controlled Humvee and it should show up. Just make sure you check to see whether it comes with the battery or not. I was aware of the fact that I was not getting the battery with, with mine when I bought it. I wasn't too worried at the time about using the radio controlled version. But if you want to use it for that, either check that the seller is supplying the battery with it or make sure you go out and buy the battery separately. Overall, this is a fantastic item if you're a 1 to 12 scale military action figure collector. I understand the price point might not sit very well with a lot of people. I'm not trying to sell these. I'm not being sponsored by the company that makes them. As I said, I've, I've directed you to eBay if you want to go and buy one. Um, but so many people have asked over the years when they've seen this vehicle in my Valiverse Action Force videos, where did you get it? Where did you get it? It was about time I made a video showcasing this gorgeous 1 to 10 scale radio controlled Humvee. And I got to admit, Desert Rat looks right at home in the turret of this vehicle. And I must say, this is the best Hummer I've ever had. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out some of our collecting guides to Valiverse Action Force, you can click the links up here. Or subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or consider supporting us on Patreon, where you'll get access to hours of exclusive content. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, and I'll see you in the next video.